The spokesperson of the Libyan National Army says he has come to Egypt bearing good news. Ahmed al Mismari claims that the LNA, which is backed by the eastern government in Tobruk, controls up to 70% of Libya. He maintains it's safe for Libyans to return home. There is hope now, and there's a will. Our people won't bow down to the west or the east. Libyans' freedom and safety is of utmost importance to us. We are not going to exclude anyone from politics. The armed forces manage to protect the parliament, protect the voices of the people, and we've issued a general pardon for all Libyans, regardless of whom they support. So we are united. I call on them now to return home and rebuild their country. The LNA is currently fighting ISIL and the remnants of Al-Qaeda-affiliated group Ansar al-Sharia in Derna and Benghazi. A military operation launched in May has nearly wiped out the militants in the east of the country, and Al-Mismari credits Cairo for that success. We are fighting the same battle against terrorism. Egypt and Libya's military leadership understand what's needed, and therefore both sides continue to coordinate and consult with each other. We may have old weapons, but we've more than made up for that with our military competency. Realizing that the UN arms embargo won't be lifted soon, Libya has revived its military academy with regional partners offering training programs. It hopes to boost the current armed forces with these newly trained fighters. The Libyan National Army also controls the country's oil fields and ports. Currently production is at 600,000 barrels a day, which provides solid financial support. But politics is tearing the countries apart. Both the Western and Eastern governments are withdrawing their support from the government of National Akkert, and there is still no one on the scene who seems capable of uniting the country. Adel Mahroui, CCTV, Cairo.